Instagram in the chat so the people can give you a follow. The man who needs no introduction, people. Let's be honest. This guy is the definition of from the from the mud, Mr. Get It Out the Mud. You understand me? I just want y'all to know, man, what's about to happen right here today. You know what I'm saying? What what type of value we got on the call today? Uh, this man right here has literally turned this opportunity. All you need, he he's he's shown all you need is to take advantage of one opportunity to change your whole life, man. It's amazing. You feel me? And uh, my co-host, y'all with me today? Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Hey, I am so live, family. What's going on? What's going What's on? Up, family. Sheesh. Hey, listen, my name is Rob. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Rob Will Get It. Let's go. Okay. Y'all know I'm TT. You can follow me on Instagram at Hustle and Glow. Um, Tosha Laza. But today, it's not about us, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to talk about us. I don't want to get to the. I want to get to our guest, Mr. Teacup. I am educator. His story has literally inspired the masses. Okay, and he puts value every time he gets on Go Live, every time he posts on Instagram, every time he speaks to us. We have value. Okay, and we get value from this man. We get inspiration and motivation, and he does not play. Okay, he's gonna tell you exactly how it is exactly how it is so without further ado we would like to welcome mr teacup lazaro oh, some C50s in the chat. i mean c100s let's go c100s in the chat. c100 light the chatter c100 light it up hey go in your chats right now and tell them to come on this call let's go the moment that you've been waiting on is here let's go baby let's go sheesh how you doing today, sir? How you doing today? I'm all right. How's everybody feeling today, man? How's everybody feeling today? Blessed, man. Blessed. Better than amazing, right? Listen, my yes, we are feeling better than amazing over here. Listen, my pop, for some reason, because I, I had like four calls back to back to back to back. I, for some reason, I saw a 1230, and I didn't realize it was because I was taking the Uber for my, when I finished my last call. I went and said, let me get home so I could feel more comfortable because I was at my friend's house doing like all these calls. So I, I took the Uber and I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I'll get home like at 12.20, the call's at 12.30. And then I didn't realize that the, the call was- oh, you was right on time. But I, time. I don't like to be late because I, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to anybody feel like, damn, he got here late. So my, my I just thought it was at 12.30. So my, that, was, that, was, that was my fault, brother. It's all love, man. You know, uh, the crazy thing is, man, I've been, hey, with uh, with all due respect, I've been in this man DM, man. <laughs> I've been in this man DM on his bumper, you know what I'm saying, trying to get this value for months, man, trying to get this man on the platform, man. You don't know, baby, the cons consistency pays off. Let me tell you all that, man. And we really okay. do appreciate you hopping on this platform and, and giving us uh, your, your intel and your intake on your experiences and the opportunity. And, and uh, we're just going to get straight into the interview. And if you want to sauce us up after that, as far as the teacup strategy, uh, we can run that play. Yeah, whatever you want me to do, I'm here. I'm, listen, I'm here for as long as you need me. Don't worry about it. You got me here, so let's go. Let's, let's run it. That's what's up. Well, we, we, um, we, did you want to get into the strategy? We're going to get into the interview, man, because I, I want to I wanna hear from you, man. I want to hear from the yeah, interview. You, know, like, well, you can get to the interview. Yeah. We'll get to the interview. yeah, so uh, I want to know. I, I know a little bit about your story, but I've heard it from other people. I haven't really heard it from you. You know, I've been on a couple calls of yours, but um, I want to know how you got started this opportunity and, and where you're from. Well, I'm from I'm from Brooklyn, New York, um, and how I got started with this opportunity, um, my my brother Rich off the net, Gary Roberts, Channel 100. He um showed me this opportunity when I was in Orlando on my aunt's couch, and um, he showed me this, and you know you. You're like, man, listen, you see a bunch of graphs. You're like, I'm never going to get this. I told him, like, yo, I don't even, I said, listen, good luck with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it, but good luck because I know I ain't going to get it, but I'm going to do it. And and that's how I got introduced to it, honestly. And um, you know how you sometimes don't really take something serious, right? I was one foot in, one foot out. And then something happened to me where I ended up going to jail. 
And I think when I was in jail, I said, listen, if I get out, I'm gonna like just, cause I, I couldn't get, I know I couldn't get a job. I said, I'm gonna focus on this. And that's what I did when I got out of jail. I focused on this, but we all have that moment where we're like, yo man, hold on. We gotta really do this. So Gary introduced me to this. That's what's up. That's what's up. Got out of jail, people. Do y'all understand what's going on? Look at where he's at. He's went from, from being, got, got having his freedom taken from him to him adding so much value to so many people. And uh, this opportunity has really been amazing, man. I really do appreciate your story and what you do for the uh, for the people inside this opportunity. And uh, I just want to commend you on that, man. Y'all throw some OC100s in the chat, man. Just just light it up one more time for my man. You feel me? Do, do it, do it again. Please, please do it, do it for us. Do, 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 do it for us. Come on. Do it for us one more time, man. You know what I'm saying? There we go. There that's, we go. That's amazing, so, man. So when you first, so after um. You got out and you were like, bet, I'm going all in. Did you immediately start building or did you start learning the skill first? Well, um, I started really paying attention to the skill because what happened to me was, since I was in a couple of prior network marketing companies, like I had to reinvent myself. I had to build up my career bit again because I was in a, So imagine me coming to you with one opportunity, I leave that, then I go to another opportunity, I, I pitch you that, and that gets shut down. So my credibility with people was just gone. You know, all the credibility that I built up all my life was gone. And I had to reinvent myself. There's no way I could have brought anybody in until I figured this out because I had to come with a different angle, you know? Nobody wanted to hear my pitch. The only way they would have heard my pitch this time was if I can show them that I can make money and I can show them how to do it, you know? So for most, I always tell people, build from the, from as soon as you get in, build, do both. But me, I couldn't because I just didn't have no credibility no more with people. The last company that I was in before this, it shut down. So it was like my bad press, I had bad press. Okay, okay. So, so, okay, you learned the skill, like, so how long did it take you to, to initially, like, master your, your strategy? Well, it, it took me, like, I didn't make money my first year trading. I, I lost all my aunt's money my first year trading. And um, it probably took me, once I figured out the strategy, it probably took me, like, three months to, like, really start making money with it. Um, because for the simple fact that, for the, I was testing it, you know, I was testing on a demo and just making sure, because again, I didn't have much margin forever because, you know, my aunt had given me her last thousand dollars. So I didn't really have too much margin forever. So I wanted to make sure because like I already blew 8,000 of her money. And she's like, yo, if you blow this last one, you're going to, you get off, you get out of my couch. So I was like, damn, I really wasn't going to have nowhere to go. So I was like so nervous that I was practicing, practicing, practicing on the demo until I finally felt comfortable that I can trade it with that last $1,000 that I had. What, what, so, you turn, what you turn that into? On the that last time, how did that go? Almost 900,000. Oh my God. In a matter of how long? It took me like eight months. Godly. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Hey, he got up off that couch, though. I tell you that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Learn the skill. Nine hundred. Okay. I mean, honestly, that's what compounding does for us. Okay. That's that's of in this market, consistency and discipline. That's yeah. what that is. I think, the skill. I think what I learned the most. Because I always feel like people perform better when they're under pressure, right? Can we agree with that, that people Most perform definitely. better when they're under pressure? And I think the pressure that I had was, you know, my back was against the wall and I only had these last $1,000 to play with. It made me so disciplined and so patient that I feel like if it wasn't for that situation, I don't think I would have had the success. The reason why I had the success is because, again, I had to be so careful. And sometimes when we people trade, I realize 
they trade freestyling, right? They don't have, they're not, like, they just don't really care if, if it makes sense. But when you actually got to be like, yo, hold on. This is all I got. And this is the, I can't lose this money. I can't blow this money. You really, like, take your trade to the next level because psych psychologically, you just, your approach is so different. Like, you don't even give yourself margin forever like that, you know? So I think that's what helped me. Whereas to oppose to people when they trade, it's just like, whatever, you know? They're not really thinking about, you know, until they lose a lot of money, that's probably when they're going to be like, maybe I need to really hold in. But like, I think that's what helped me that I, I didn't have no more money and I couldn't afford to lose that. Wow. That's powerful. That, hey, that's, hey, that's the best flip ever. And then to do that and, and not have to even think about getting in no type of uh, uh, trouble or risking your freedom to do it, like it's crazy. That, so you know, like, somebody asks, somebody asks discipline in one sense, um, in a way where, okay, so I, I came up with a trading plan, um, a 50 pip trading plan. And that's how I got my discipline. Like if I won 50 pips in the market, I would close the computer, close the meditator four, you know, and I, so I, what I did was the first month I was trading. Now I did over leverage. I'm not going to lie. I did 0.25 on a thousand dollar account. Now I, I, you know, whatever that's over leveraging, I guess. So they say, I, I, I thought that was decent, you know? That's fine. So I did, I, I did 0.25 for a whole month, 50 pips a day, right? And what happened was, like, I wouldn't win every day, but 50 pips a day at 0.25 came out to like $125 a day. Then when my, my, my account compounded that first month, right? The second month, I think that first month I did like 2100 The second month, I doubled my lot size and did 0.50, 50 pips a day. So now I was making, instead of 125 a day, I was making 250 a day, uh, 1250 a week, 5,000 a month. Now I didn't win every day, but that, that month, I remember I compounded my account like another 4,200. Then the third month, I compounded my account again because I doubled my lot size from 0.50 to a standard 50 pips a day. So now I'm making 500 a day, you know what I'm saying? $2,500 a week. 10,000 a month now. Did I win every day? No. So I probably made like 8,000, 8,400, something I remember. But I kept doing that. And you. And I remember one time, I ain't gonna lie to you, I caught gold. I just, I was trading four standard at this time. I caught gold. And that week, I did like 190,000. That was my biggest week I ever did. Did like 190,000 that week. And then from there, I was doing 10 standards, 50 pips, and then it just, it just went, and it just, just went. So it really started from small, but as, you know, the months came out, I kept doubling in my lot size, and that's how I learned the discipline, is just to get the 50 pips, or if I lost 50 for the day, I quit, you know? So it was either win 50 or lose 50, either way. So this is, so you're taking one solid trade a day? Uh, whatever get me to 50. If I had a scalp, whatever would get me to 50 that I felt like it was, whatever it was, that's what I did. And, you know, you had your days that you go over six, you might get 60, you know. Right. But I will only lose 50 the most in a day if I was to lose. That's amazing. I hope y'all are writing this down. <laughs> I hope everybody's writing this down because that's genius. I mean, that's really how it's supposed to be done. Right. Everybody get, catch that discipline. Once, you, once you're able to be disciplined and walk away from the charts, once you hit your goal, like if you hit your goal every single day, just about, you hit your weekly goal. You hit your weekly goal every week, you hit your monthly goal. That's crazy. We have another question in the chat. It said, um, is this because you also started learning your teacup technique during that time? Yeah, during that time, I was, I was, uh, I was playing with the teacup strategy. Um, I was trading like, I had like this other method I was trading, but then I, like after the second month, I just implemented my strategy. And then I also was trading my other strategy, which is the four and the 50 moving average strategy. So mm -hmm. I was combining both. And you know, that that's how I was getting 
um, the 50 pips, sometimes a little bit more. Awesome. So how did you become an I am educator? Oh, man, like, people don't know, like, I always say, like, I don't know it's because of where I was raised. I always had the mentality that, you know, if you want something, you just got to go get it, right? And I had the teacup strategy. I was an I am. And, you know, nobody knew who I was as far as trading. People knew me as a builder from my previous companies, but nobody knew me as a trader. And I had the strategy and I wanted to get out there. So this is for people that, you know, want to know how to become educator and how to... Um, so I was doing free Zoom calls for like in 2017. I was doing from like August, you know, from May to the top of the year, 2018, 2017, May. I was doing free Zoom calls on Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern. And, you know, it started with two people, maybe five, 10, 15, 20, to a point where it was like, my Zoom was 200 people and it would be sold out before I even get on the Zoom, right? So, you know, I was having testimonies. People were Tico strategy, Tico strategy. So the top of the year, 2018, this is what Christopher Terry started at Instagram. I put Christopher Terry and Jason Brown in a Instagram group chat, right? Now, Jason Brown knew who I was, but, you know, he didn't really know me. Chris knew me whatever, but I put him in a group chat. And every day I was spamming with testimonials, people talking about my strategy, my Zoom calls being sold out. And I would, I would, I would post in that group every day. They wouldn't answer for like three or four weeks. And when they were answered, they would be like, oh, good job. And I'd be like, damn. The month of February, did the same thing. This time Jason only answered, okay, good job. Keep giving the company value. March, same thing, spam every, I was doing Zoom calls every single day and, you know, just for free for anybody in the company. By May, Christopher Terry, I was spamming them so much that Christopher Terry was like, yo, Jason, this guy's annoying, just give him a chance. <laughs> so when they gave me a chance, they were like, okay, we're going to put you on trial, but we're not going to pay you. And sometimes people miss opportunities because there's no money involved. Sometimes people miss on opportunities or pass up on opportunities because there's no money involved. But I said, yo, if I was spamming them and I was doing all this for free for the last year, I can go another month without getting paid for this, but I'm on the platform and I can show them what I'm worth. Because mm -hmm. now people get to, you know what I'm saying? You know, people get to see it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I got on, I had like the most views the first two months, and then I went back to negotiate, like, yo, I need to get paid now. So when I went back, I went to just negotiate to get some money as an educator. I ended up walking out that meeting with an app, which I wasn't even, a, I didn't think about no app. I just went in there to get paid for educator. And I walked out of there being the highest paid educator and getting the app. And mm -hmm. You know, from there, the, the rest is history. That's amazing. Wow. I didn't know you was, I didn't know you was breaking records. I didn't know you was the highest paid educator at the time. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Yeah, so that, I, I didn't even ask for an app. I went to just get some money because I was like, yo, I've been on two months. I haven't got paid. I got the most views. I said, it's time to, it's time to pay up. Let's and go. They like, and they were like, yo, um. You know, we're gonna we're gonna give you this money and you know what we was thinking since a lot of go live educators teach you about trading, but none of them really got strategies. You're one of the few that have actually a strategy. So do you wanna get an app? And I'm like, as long as I pay for it, yeah, I will take the app. I mean, I'm not gonna pay for it. I, you know, I, I I'm not gonna pay for it. They're like, yeah, and then from there the rest is history. Oh, uh, I did a paper trade. I traded in and out. I'll, Sometimes go on, like if I was having a rough time trading, I'd go on demo for like two weeks. No shame on that. Okay, I got, I got a quick question. Go ahead. So from the time you got out of jail, from the time they made that app, what was the, what was the time frame in the middle of all this? Two years. Two years? Two years. Wow. 
That's dope. Two years, yeah, two years. That's dope. Eesh, God, dog. Okay. And your whole life changed because you went all in on this opportunity. Yeah, I, th- I think sometimes I, somebody had a question uh, that, you know, they have like, a, it, it's hard for them to go in because they have kids, bills. And I get all that. But sometimes I, I feel like you have to make a sacrifice. And sometimes you have to do stuff that you be like, listen, if I, if I do this, I know it's going to hurt me here. You know, I might, my light might go off, whatever it is. But sometimes you just got to take that chance because if you don't take the chance, you're going to still be in the same circle next year and the next three or four months where, you know, you don't have all the time. You can't go there because you got kids, bills, family. Sometimes you just got to take a shot and you might suffer for a little bit, but eventually if everything goes according to plan, you know, you won't suffer no more. So, I feel like you just really just got to go all in, man. You know, I, I, it, people make, listen, I would say you prioritize in your life what you want. No matter how much things you got going on, if you want to do something, you're going to do it. You're going to make time for it. So I feel like everybody, even with kids and this and that, you can make time for it. Because everybody, no matter what, you can have 10 kids. You're still going to have an hour or two a day that you're going to be able to be free. And you can take that time and hone your craft or build a business. So I feel like everybody can make time. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely make time. Uh, somebody, if you could do something different, what would you do different in your journey? Honestly, guys, if I had to do it all over again, I would do it the same way. I would go through what I went through because I feel like it made me what I, the person I am today. Um, like, if I didn't go through uh, sleeping on couches, on buses, going days without eating, taking showers at LA Fitness, um, I don't think I would be where I'm at today because people ask me, yo, now that you're a millionaire, how come you just don't stop? Like, if you follow me on social media, you see that I don't stop. I'm either in another state, doing mm-hmm. a event, Zoom calls, like, I don't stop. And it's like, it, I don't stop because you know, I, I'm always scared that I can, tomorrow I could wake up and it's not going to be there. So I have that mentality, like, I haven't achieved nothing yet, you know? Like, I, I sleep on my couch twice a week just to remind me where I don't want to go back to. You know, people might think I'm crazy, but I really do sleep on my couch twice a week so I can remember and humble myself, like, yo, I, I, can, I can easily go back to this. So when I wake up from that couch... I'm like super motivated. Like I want to do 1 million calls, you know, because it's just, it was a dark place in my time, but it made me who I am today. And, you know, I I feel like without, without trials, tribulations, the success doesn't taste that as good. But when you go through that stuff and you get to, to, you get to the goal that you're at, or you, you, it's like, it's, it's that much sweeter. You're much more happier. Because you know you know where you came from at the end of the day. Okay. I don't know if y'all got chills, people, but that's okay. that right there. That right there, man. Hey, listen here. Hey, man. Shout out to you for never quitting, never giving up, and, and staying dedicated and actually persevering through all those struggles, man. That's amazing. Um, that's definitely a beautiful and testimony. I, I everybody, everybody has a story. You know, it's just mm-hmm. if it's gonna be heard. You know, and, and I think it's your job to get your story out there, because everybody has a story, man. Everybody's going through trials and tribulations, obstacles, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always tell people, I am not better than anybody. I just got here first. That's all it is. Like, you know, everybody coming behind me, I just got here first, you know? But I'm definitely not better than anybody. And, you know, people might, people tell me, oh, but you got to tell. I said, nah, man. All I did was just get there first. That's all I did, you know? And... Everybody else that really wants it will get there too. So um, don't ever think, like I always say, we don't think that you look at these chairmen that all oh, that person is better than me because the chairman 500. The chairman. Nobody's better than you, man. You're the best of the best. They just, again, they just got there first. You'll, 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 you'll get there yourself too. Thanks. We have another question in the chat. They said, if you had to pick three books or audios to study, um, what would they be? Uh, I'm not a, the biggest book reader. I'm reading this book called uh, The Power of Being Broke 
by um, the guy from Short Tank, Damian John. I'm reading that. I'm not really the big reader. Like, I listen to Les Brown. Like, Les Brown at the Georgia Dome, I, I listen to that all the time. Like, Les Brown at the Georgia Dome, at the Georgia Dome um, I listen to that. And since I'm a sports fanatic, I look at this differently. Like, most people tell you, go read these books or think, think of go rich or all these other... I, I studied Michael Jordan. You know, I'm 40 years old. I grew up with Michael Jordan. And I study his mentality and his will to win and his work ethic. And, and like, that's why I don't look to these people like Jim Rohn, Bob Proctor. That's not my thing. I look at sports figures that will kill you to win. And they'll do anything to win. And I think that's the mentality that I have. You know what I'm saying? Because I learned from Michael Jordan watching him. You know what I'm saying? He just did not like to lose. And I don't like to lose, you know? And I think that's sometimes... All the, it's cool to read these books, I get it, but yo, give me somebody that I see that has a killer instinct, and I, I'm, that's what I, I'm gonna learn more from him than reading a book. That makes sense. Definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. Okay, so, so being a professional trader, you know, no one's 100%. Can you give us your 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 biggest pimping ain't easy moment where the the trades went just just left? Oh man, that happens. You know, like you know, it's so crazy. I don't even consider myself a professional trader. I mean, I always tell my people, I'm an average trader. I'm just great at my strategy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like because if you start talking trading with me, I'd be like, damn, I'll be learning so much from you guys. I'd be like, shit. Because I don't know the ins and outs for you. I just know my strategy, you know? And I, I, I tell people all the time, like, yo, I'm not the GOAT of trading. I'm the GOAT of my strategy. But when it comes to trading, I am D minus trader. You know what I'm saying? And I'm okay with that. I, 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 you know, because at the end of the day, I perfected something, you know? And as long as I can do that for the rest of my life, I know I'll be able to make money, you know? Uh, but I've had moments, I mean, wow. Yeah, I had a moment where... I think it was in January this year. I think I lost like 40,000 in two days. That was probably the, lowest, the most I've ever lost. Like 40,000 in two days. And I was like, damn, I need to take a break. I got two, two weeks off. Because sometimes we don't know how to take breaks either. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes we got to just, yo, you know what? Maybe we got to refresh our brain. We've been on these charts for the last eight months. And just, you know, sometimes, hey, you had a really bad week. Take some time off, regroup, refresh yourself. Don't even think about trading and then come back and trade again. But at this year, yeah, I looks like 40,000 two days. Jeez. Hey. hey. You know, okay. Oh, somebody said, what pair? <laughs> oh, it was gold, of course. Gold, we have a love-hate relationship with gold. I noticed when I... And this is the funny part. I tell people, that's why I tell people, stick to something, perfect it, and just do it. When I, I lost 40000 because why? I was like, you know what? I've been doing the 450 the moving average strategy. I've been doing the teacup strategy. Let me, let me just go and learn other things. And let me do other things what these other traders be doing. And that was the biggest mistake of my life. And I really, that made me realize, like, you know what? Be proud of, be proud of what you, how, you, how you make money in the market. Stick to it. Just keep doing your strategy. And that was like a uh -oh morning where I was like, you know what? If I ever thought of doing other things and becoming this professional trader, though those dreams got shattered, I'm back to doing teacups. And that's, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> that's all I've been doing. <laughs> okay. We tell you guys, you know, tap in, find a strategy that works for you and you'll forever be profitable. And this is proof, you know? Like you only need one strategy. You perfect that, you're going to eat forever. Forever. Can be forever. I'm a firm believer. You, you, even if you lose at the beginning, keep keep using that strategy, whatever strategy you're using, and then eventually, you know, when you just got it, when it clicks, it's over for the markets. You know. Can you can you give us a brief uh, view of that strategy? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I can as long as I can share my screen. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Let me share my screen.
Let's go. If you guys are getting value, drop some fire. This is amazing. So this is like, like a, right now I'm looking, I called this for Gold Cup. So, I mean, I don't know if it's going to play out. I look, I thought it was going to play out when I, when I was watching this candle, but this is an easy, like, this is like a great form teacup right here. Uh, you got the bullish candle. You got the bullish candle right here, followed by the bearish candle. Even at the top of the body or close to it, and what, people always ask me, what's the top of the body? Where the, where the bullish candle closes and the bearish candle opens, that's the top of the body, right? So bullish candle followed by bearish. Then, because the teacup strategy is in the three candle sequence. This third candle here, because obviously these are the first two, this third candle has to be a higher high or higher low. So basically a teacup, it forms like this. This is how it should look. Sometimes the candle's a little bit shorter, the third candle, but it should look like this. And then when you see these three candles, bullish, bearish, right? Third candle, lower, 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 high. You come here to where it says horizontal line. Click on that. Boom. Put it at the top of the body of the bullish and bearish candle. Then if you look at it, you got your order number, whatever number is attached to the horizontal line. That's your sell limit order. And then we just waiting for the market to come back around and activate our teacup and then boom, activates our teacup, it goes down. And this works for everything, right? Indice pairs, this works for everything. It doesn't even matter, it works for everything. That's, that's it? That's it. Wow. There's a three candle strategy, that's it. So is it like a retest strategy? Like yeah, it'll basically. break? Basically, yeah, yeah, retest. So basically what I did was, this is what I did, this is why people be like, like when I really explain this to people, they'd be like, yo, like I did some real, like, so I want you to, I want you to understand something. Mm -hmm. You just said a retest, right? Mm -hmm. And, and the teacup, if we look at it, it's really what, in Forex terminology, what is it? Really? Like, if you look at it, what is it? It looks like a retest. retest. Yeah. Okay. What do they call that? Um, in forex terms, F. Everybody gets an F. Everybody <laughs> gets an F. I swear that F. F. I'm thinking I'm all And I, I'm not. Pull and I'm back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> no, a double top. Oh, a double <laughs> top. Absolutely, double top. Yes. <laughs> right. Something else. So now think about it like this. All I did, right, all I did was say, okay, cool. That's a double top, but no, that's a teacup. That's a teacup. And people are like, but now nah, that's a double top, but now nah, it's a teacup because bearish candle followed by bullish, even or close to the top of the body. Third candle must be oh. lower, 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 high. So this is, this is a three candle sequence. This is how the candles must look, and that's the start of a teacup. So that's the, I, is that the handle? Yeah, that's the handle, right? And then this is where it activates. This is where it completes the handle. But if you look at it, it's really a retest or double top or what I did was, it's like, okay, so let's say you have Comcast cable. I have Comcast cable. All I did was take off the Comcast name and put LaSala Tavares cable. Now I'm going around the neighborhood like, yo, I got the LaSala Tavares cable. Now you're like, but damn, that shit look like Comcast. But I bet now that's the LaSala Tavares cable. So now everybody going around like, yo, you got the South Tomorrow's Cable, and people be like, yo, but ain't that Comcast? Nah, that's the South Tomorrow's Cable. So all I did was go around and be like, yo, no, that's not a double top, that's not retail, that's a teacup. And then people be like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, no, it's not a double top, it's not a, it's not a uh, retail, that's a teacup. To a point where now everybody around the world be like, yo, that's a teacup. And people be like, huh? But yeah, it's a teacup. And that's just what I did. That's right. genius. So the inverted teacup huh? is just the opposite. The inverted teacup is just the opposite. Just the yeah. uh, double bottom. Yeah, that's just <laughs> the double bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like the M's and W's. 
At this point, you got a whole forex term now. <laughs> I'm gonna take the engulfing candle and make it a, they call it the big the big candle. I took the word time, man. The beautiful thing about this is that you know you can you could turn this into whatever you want it to be, honestly. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's all I did. Basically, that's your signature play. That's all it is. That's your is signature that, play. It's right there, a little bit right. Is that one in the middle right there? Right there in the middle. The middle of the uh, chart, right at the top with a black line. This uh, one? No, to the left, up top. Right in the middle. Yeah, right above there. If that was what? A teacup right there at the top. You see how you got the two candles? Does it have to be yeah. bigger? No, but the, like, the candles have to be at least like thick. I like mm -hmm. if they look like this, like these type of wigs, or if they don't like dojis or evening stars. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take them. They have to be at least some some healthy candles. For example, look, if we go here, right? Let me take this line up. So right here, you have a bearish can a bearish candle, right? Followed by a bullish candle, right? Bearish candle followed by a bullish candle. This third candle is a higher high. It's the exact opposite of the teacup, right? This third candle is a higher high. So basically, I put this line here. Put this line here, and what do I have here? Let me show you. Buy zone. We have a inverted teacup, which is the exact opposite. And when they come back down and touch that, that's where your buy limit is. Yep, and then boom, look at that. Currently, that would have been my buy limit because I have a bearish candle followed by a bullish. My third candle is a higher high. So that's the start of the inverted teacup. Then it comes back around and then boom, it triggers. And then you would have took at least 100 pips on that almost. So where is your stop loss up under those wicks? Now, my stop rules usually be 30 pips. That's the most I want to give back to market is 30 pips. And then your take profit would be the top of the teacup? No, it would be depending on the time frame. So the one hour is anywhere from 20 to 25 pips. Uh, the four hour, anywhere from 40 to 50 pips. And the daily teacup, 60 to 75. Nice. Okay. Are you guys writing this down? I hope you are. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I definitely got those down. Jeez, let's go. So this is a four-hour teacup, right? This is a four-hour time frame, right? So you see this right here? I'm going to show you because I had took this earlier. So this right here is a bu bullish candle followed by... I know usually like uh, with the regular teacup, you would have... Um, you would have a, a buy candle... Uh, followed by um, a bearish engulfing candle, and then you would have a following uh, bearish candle. So with the inverse, the one that you j had just marked up, I saw that you had a um, a sell candle, and then you had a buy candle, but the buy candle didn't engulf the bearish candle. So how does it, how does it, that? It, it doesn't have to engulf it all the time. It doesn't have to engulf it. Like, I'm going to show you one that is good. I'm going to show you GBP Fudge. Okay, right here. You see this one right here? Bullish, bearish, lower, low. So this teacup here came back around here. You see, this is the beginning. This is a teacup. Bullish, bearish, lower, low. Came back around here. Came back around here and went 65 pips. Oh, snap. Okay, bet, bet. That's, 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 that, that um, provides me with some clarity because I always take your trades. And uh, when I look at them, sometimes they, they match that. And other times, I'm just like, I don't know what he's looking at, but whatever, mm -hmm. I'll take the trade. All right, that's a bet. Appreciate it. No doubt. Any other questions from the chat? 
was there a certain time frame where you would use um, one time frame versus another? No, it's wherever I see teacups at. Wherever I see them, I look through the one hour, four hour daily. And then wherever and I see them. It's good for 50, 60 pips. Yeah, on the Every. four hour, 50 to 60 pips, yeah, on the four hour. That's what's up. Like even this right here, you got a good teacup right here, look. That's what I was just looking at. If you draw it, you're gonna be like, wow. See that? Set that by a limit at 1930. That'll be a sell limit. A sell limit, exactly. That's an inverted, right? Yep. No. Okay. That's what's up. And then here, look. What you have here. No, that's a bot. That's a solar milk here. That's a regular teacup. But look at right here. Bearish, bullish, high, low. Mm. Set up. Market came back around. Boom. You would kill them right here. Mm -hmm. And that's with the tree. Yeah. Let me pick okay. Pretty simple. Absolutely. It's mind blowing how sometimes how simple it is sometimes how we make it complicated because all the lines and the candles. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. Absolutely, especially when you break it down. Definitely appreciate that. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I see the baby there. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you know you got to get it done regardless. Starting early. No excuses, no excuses. Well, we know you've been on 20, 30 calls. You got another question, Lisa? I was just going to say, um, what advice do you give new traders or somebody who first got in the business? Say again, what, what's the advice? Yeah, for um, new traders, somebody just starting the business, or even somebody who's just been in and just, you know, they feel stagnant. Um. Well, if you feel stagnant, it's only because you're not understanding that it takes time. I always say uh, great things happen over time, not overnight. So, you know, slow progress is better than no progress. And the simple fact that you're already involved makes you a winner, right? So you have to get off that mentality that, oh, you know, like I'm not, it's not moving fast enough. I'm not learning how to trade fast enough. Because again, things come with time, you know? And for the beginner, I tell them, listen, the best thing you could do is really carve out, look at your schedule, right? And figure out, okay, if I can devote three hours to this, I'm a, in those three hours that I devote to learning how to trade, I'm going to, I'm going to be so locked in for those three hours that I can give every single day, you know? Because at the end of the day, you still got to carve out time during your life to, to, to learn how to trade because if you feel like you can't build right now, cool. Trade is going to lead you to building. You know, trade is going to lead you to making residual income. So I figured you lock in on the trading. Um, again, treat it like a job. Treat it like you paid a million dollars instead of you paying two thirty five, and really get on the academy, uh, get on the go live, get on these edu uh, trainers that that these traders that do trainings maybe in your organization. You know, just be active. Um, and, and I'm telling you, just give it six months and watch. Thank you. No problem. All right. I'll, um, I'm done with my questions. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Oh, it's all love. Uh, I know, I, I just know my man, you know, he he's always spreading value and, and um giving out his time so we don't want to waste it or take too much of it but right now man uh, if you know you know we're gonna turn it up one time man turn it up first one time one time oh. you know, you know, drop it in the chat let's go <laughs> mr teacup we do have mr teacup mr teacup yes we need some bars please yes. <laughs> i don't know how to rap we That's don't what either do is rap. i cannot <laughs> I don't even try because I've been seeing everybody now rapping that trades. I'm like, nah, that's, I'm interested in this. Definitely not 
Okay, well, he ain't gonna rap for his people, but you know what? We will take some value. Any any words you want to give the people? Any last gems you want to spread? Yeah, you know, no matter what you're going through in life, just know that there's something better out there. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get better. This is just temporary, you know? People come into this business with all different types of situations, all different types of problems, but this is the thing that can solve all your situations, can solve all your problems. Um, just don't get discouraged. Don't f don't give up because the worst thing you could do is quit. Because when you quit, you just probably missed out that that next day was going to be your day. So as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, man, listen, don't give yourself any excuses because we deserve to be great. I always say average was for average people and we ain't average. That's why we're doing this. So find somebody that you really love, that you really want to take care of, that if you had, a, if you had all the money in the world, Right now, you will, you will take care of that person and let that person be your motivation, your light, for you to keep going the days that you don't want to work, the days that you feel like this ain't going to work. Just remember, before one person told me yes, 307 people told me no. Eight years mm -hmm. later, I've been in this industry. So, like I said, just keep going. <laughs> Understand that. Let's people. go. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. Thank Keeping you so much for baby. coming on our... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on this episode of Pippin' Ain't Easy, y'all. We do this every Monday through Thursday, 11 p.m. So please tap in, tune in. We bring the value. We bring the sauce every time. We appreciate hey, we you so much. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's definitely, on the road, definitely. definitely appreciate your time, Mr. Tika. Um, if you can throw your Instagram in the chat so the people can give you a follow. Yo, make sure y'all follow this this man right here, man. He always spreading love and value. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. Um, yeah, man, we appreciate it, man. Pippin ain't easy. Somebody got to do it. And it might as well be us, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. We will Let's see y'all back quick. tomorrow. Where, where got, real quick, where you guys from? Oh, I'm from Houston. Houston? Cali. 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 I'm born and raised in Chicago. I reside in California right now. Yeah, I reside in Houston right now. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Man, you, next time you come to Cali, man, you have an event, I'm uh, definitely pulling up. I'll be in Cali um, October 11th. I think it's a Sunday. Oh. I'll be there from yeah. the 11th to the 14th. Well, if you got something, we pulling up. Just let us know what it is. Uh, we got an event on the 10th at Kanisha Park in Pomona. And, uh, you know, whatever you got going, we pulling up. We there. I'll bring my whole team out. I'll do something with, with Garrett. So we'll definitely keep in contact and I'll let you know we'll slide through. That's what's up. Oh, Appreciate your time, family. Appreciate your time, man. Blessings. Thank you. Thank have you. Y'all have a good night. We love you. Oh, my God.